Hi guys, or hi moms, I guess. So while I am doing it, I thought I'd do a video on my experience breastfeeding and breast pumping. This will not be a demonstration kind of thing, but I would try to do as much with, of my hands or with my hands as possible. So first thing I want to say is I thought that the lactation consultant that came in the hospital would be a little bit more hands-on. Um, my daughter was <clears throat> latching from the first day I had her, but as I got home, I found this to be a lot more painful, more consistently painful, and I sought out the help of a wonderful lactation consultant here in Georgia named Rosie. Hey, Rosie. Um, she's wonderful. Um, I will find her information for you if you need it. If you were in the Atlanta, Georgia area, she is amazing. So I can find her information and give it to you. Just hit me up down below um, in the comments. But what she basically told me was uh, the baby should be latching on with duck lips. So basically that wide open mouth like ah. And what you do is you compress your breasts around the nipple area so that it you can put it in the daughter, your well, my daughter's mouth. So I explain it from my point of view. Um, and what you want to do is, let me see, figure out the camera here. Let's say that this is her lips. You want to tease her mouth with the tip of your nipple, so that she's opening her mouth up to do the ah uh, motion for you. I found that if she is fussing and crying, it's easier to catch her when she's like. Ah hollering so I just basically shut my boob in her mouth because it's an opportunity where her mouth is really wide naturally to get as much in as possible and her lips are open I got nice lips to show you they're open to um be able to put uh, my nipple in her mouth without <clears throat> being chomped on basically so she also said it's like um you eat a sandwich you eat a sandwich ah uh, not and so you don't want that um she told me that if you if the baby's latched on and it hurts de-latch the way to do that is to pinch the cheeks together or put your finger in the side of the baby's mouth so that you give them room to detach and create that space to de-latch from your breast um what i'm also reading is give it 30 seconds if it hurts longer than about 30 seconds you want to de-latch and relatch so that the um so that you can try again and hopefully get a better latch the second time so uncomfortable is the word we're going for not hurt not pain so we want to go for maybe an uncomfortable feeling in the first two to five seconds but not a hurt now one thing that i did notice is that my right breast is a lot more tender you'll have one over the other and that you have milk ducts all the way around your breast but they pull right by your nipples so that's why you get like a lot of dripping if you haven't pumped or you haven't breastfed in a while because there's a lot of milk just right there so if that's full my best guess is is that when she chumps on that part that that's what hurts and then it does uh, relax as she has suckled for a little bit because she's sucking in my mind at least my theory is that she's suckling out that portion of milk that's right there um if you have maybe some women have bigger milk ducts than others and the baby's kind of on that it might be a little more tender all bodies are different all babies are different all boobs are different so those are my guesses to um, pain but making sure that the baby's mouth is wide enough is really what you're going for she also told me you can take it them and open her mouth to open it a lot wider and make sure her bottom lip is curled out and not in that can cause pain as well and um, the other thing that you can do is obviously look and make sure the top lip is curled up as it's supposed to be but the pulling down of the chin helped me tremendously like that was one of the major tricks that was so worth the session it just opens her mouth a lot wider, gets more of my nipple in, it relieves a lot of the pain. So I was really happy with that particular trick on um, breastfeeding her. And I'm trying to think, is there anything else about the breastfeeding I should know? 
I should tell you guys. If so, I'll come back. Still dealing with pregnancy brain, sorry. Um, but that was a really, really big help to visit with her um, and get those breastfeeding tricks. So of course, you want to relax your arms and your body. You don't want to be tense. Babies and animals kind of are the same in a sense that you want to be relaxed and they can feel if you're tense or tight. So make sure you have a pillow to support your arms if you're gonna be there for a while. Relax your arms, make sure the baby's in a good position, make sure the airways are clear, that you're not, I know a lot of women, all of a sudden you got these huge boobs and are kind of like smothering the baby in their face. Just make sure they have some airway um, with their breasts. And one thing my daughter does where I will make her totally stop is when she's sleepy, she'll start yanking her head back or, um, unlatching and relatching and unlatching and relatching using my boob as a pacifier if she does that i just start to burp her and i call it a day on that particular session because you're not gonna yank my boob i understand your baby <laughs> but you're not gonna yank my boob and she's not even too much yet and yes i have been bitten um so just keep that in mind that it will happen at some point in time and it will hurt so sorry but these little babies and when they have teeth, I can't talk about that. I don't know. I'm nervous, but I'll let you watch somebody else's video or come back to me when you get to that point. But um, the other thing was uh, I pump. So I pump twice a day. And even if I pump, I can always kind of tell that my ducts are not fully empty. So your baby is the only thing that can really empty your milk ducts really, really well. And trust me, as soon as they're empty, they'll be filling right back up again. And you can feel them filling up again, just so you know. Um, it's very interesting feeling. So your nipple pads are really good to use, which take absorb the extra milk that's leaked out. So you're not wetting your shirts all over the place. Um, I pump twice a day. I don't make it any more complicated than that. I can survive in between the first pump and the second pump in, in between either by breastfeeding her from my breast or by just letting them fill as much as possible and then I take the bottles and I store them. Um, I understand that we are taught out of the hospital you're supposed to feed your baby every two hours, two to three hours, but if my daughter is sleeping, I let her sleep and she sleeps for a good six hour stretches. So I'm not gonna wake her up to feed her. When she wakes up and she's hungry, she'll eat. And if she's hungry still, per, back, uh, past her two ounces, I'll give her more. And if she's hungry, I'll give her some more. But I'm not gonna wake her up to feed her. Um, I personally think it's ridiculous. If your child is asleep, either you go to sleep with her as a newborn, him or her, or get some cleaning done or get your sanity or breathe or sit down you know or clean the thing that you haven't cleaned but i don't wake her up but i pump twice a day i have a double pump i would show you right now but uh, get used to all this machinery and getting hooked up to it but i have a double breast pump and um i just kind of like i am now it's 2 a.m and i'm really just sitting here pumping milk um, because this is a chance to not hold her and not have to do anything with her and I could get this done before I go to sleep um, See what else I put coconut oil on my nipples So I did see a little bit of peeling before and then I started to put coconut oil just on my nipples I would massage my whole breast with coconut oil before I breast pump, but I could kind of um, I, She actually started to get baby acne and I didn't know if it was from her having her face on my breast or it's something else so I just stopped doing it on my whole breast and I just put it on my um, nipples and I have not had any cracking any peeling no nothing so I do that before I actually breast pump I get about four ounces per breast so even though that's me do not compare yourself to any other woman and how much she's pumping out or how many bags of milk she has frozen in her refrigerator work with what's going on with you and i will say this too a lot of women can't actually physically breastfeed or have a lot of trouble for a lot of different reasons your nipples are too flat yes that could be a reason You're, there's something about the gums and the upper lip if it's attached that could be a reason maybe your baby's just not getting the whole latching thing 
whatever the case may be, do not beat yourself up if you cannot breastfeed. And please don't try to drive yourself crazy thinking that you need to breast pump or breastfeed your baby every two hours. Why would you wake your baby up to feed? The baby sleeping. The baby is telling you exactly what it needs in that moment. Sleep. And when it wakes up, it'll tell you exactly what it needs. Food. Diaper change. Hugs. Kisses. All that fun stuff. Don't drive yourself crazy waking your child up. Um, let me see what else. I was lucky enough to be blessed by God with really best friends, really, really good best friends. And while I was sitting there holding my breast pump one day, she said, why don't you just take a sports bra and cut some holes in it? That's exactly what I did. I throw the other end to my breast pump in my panties on my pants and I walk around the house hands free, just like I am doing now. And I'm breast pumping. And, um, the other thing is you just can't bounce around cause you can get milk or, uh, water condensation in your tubing and that can be a problem you don't want to mess up your motor and have it suck into your motor and then break your whole breast pump you can order parts most companies have a one-year warranty so you can get those although i didn't get mine yet i have to call them back um because i ordered a two for my single pump and if you are going to buy a breast pump get a double unless you are a breast cancer survivor and i'm saying this seriously and you have one breast that you're going to breastfeed from get a double pump you want your hands um free and you by the time you're done with one and breast pumping can take up to 20 to 30 minutes sometimes just to sit there you want to be able to be done with both trust me you want to be able to say i am finished and i can get up and both of these breasts are empty um, i do massage my breasts a little bit before i um pump and Okay, I'll get a lot of comments. I don't care what you say. They have not done enough research um, to tell anybody they're right or wrong about this whole scenario. But I do agree with the following. And this is what I chose. I do not pump and dump. <gasps> I, know. I don't do it. It takes 30 minutes for your blood to peak with alcohol. And by the time you are sober and the alcohol is out of your system, your breast milk is sober. That is what I believe. That is what I have been doing and dealing with. And I actually wait even longer than when I feel sober because your tolerance should be really, really low if you have not been drinking during your pregnancy. But I wait past the point of feeling sober before I pump milk. Cider beer, which has like 5% alcohol in it, is pretty much what I drink. And when I tell you your boobs are so full, <laughs> drinking cider beer is the barley in the brewing process that um, helps. But I have had breast milk from everything from wine, cider beer, I don't like regular beer, Jack Daniels to vodka. So... You know, if you are going out having a good time and then you get home and your boobs are full, if you can tolerate going through the night with um, them full and you wake up and you are sober, then you have a great milk supply right there. Some women just can't um, get through the engorgement and maybe you need to pump a little bit to relieve some pressure, but don't waste the milk if you are getting milk from your breast and you're sober and you drank a little bit and now you're sober use your milk don't throw it away it's hard enough the only thing really i've learned to cry over about spilled milk is spilled breast milk because it takes so long to pump so that is my theory i hope that this helps someone i feel like i'm forgetting something but i still have pregnancy brain so i probably am but um that is it i wish you ladies all the best of luck and please do not water down your breast milk you do not need to water down your breast milk i don't get it um but again don't beat yourself up if you're not able to breastfeed directly from your breast by all means go ahead and pump and if you don't want to do that at all because trust me i would love to take a diet pill and hop on the treadmill and get my body back but breastfeeding actually helps you burn a lot of calories as well so if you are trying to drop the weight keep breastfeeding and good luck any questions comments i will try to answer what i know um leave them below
Bye, mommies.